Mental Fox here with another episode in my playthrough of Skyrim. Thank you so much for joining me again. And in the last episode, things got pretty interesting. We are on our way over here to Broken Fang, Broken Fang Cave. If we look on the map, we'll see that uh, we're on our way there. We're getting close, but we've stopped here at Sleeping Tree Camp. I was thinking, well, the name is Camp. I figured it might be a place, a good place to camp out. But instead, maybe we'll hear some footsteps. There's some giants walking around here. And, um, boy, actually, it sounds like they might even be coming this way. Oh, I've been detected. I well, said I was. Uh, they might even be coming this way. And uh, I'm afraid of giants. Uh, I, I believe that they would um, hurt me greatly. There's one over there. Uh, I did not know that there were going to be giants out here. Nobody told me there'd be giants. <laughs> Uh, I'm just joking, I don't want you guys to tell me there's going to be giants, but uh, it's really, really neat just seeing them walking across the landscape here. Jeez. Uh, okay, there's uh, some big woolly mammoths back there. We need to get on our way here, and we need to get to this this cave. I mean, being in this cave has got to be better than trying to be out here with these freaking giants, but boy, they were really neat looking, weren't they? I'm detected again. Who sees me? I'm not sure who's seeing me. Uh, so at the end of the last episode, we uh, picked up a treasure and um, there were some books in it or a book in it or maybe a scroll. Um, these are scrolls that I believe uh, if I read these, then I will No, if I if I if I read it, I will I will use it, right? It's not like something I learned. I can't remember, doggone it. Um, but uh, we did pick up a book. And I'm going to guess that um, the book that we picked up was this one. This is the only one without an eyeball next to it. Except for this one down here, which I guess is something to do with um, the uh, mod that I have installed. I hadn't noticed that before. But uh, A Hypothetical Treachery is the book that we picked up. And this looks like a book that's going to teach us something. A skill or something. Because uh, we got 55 here. So let's go ahead and read this. Destru Destruction has been increased to 16. A Hypothetical Treachery. A one-act play by Anthil Morvir. Ooh, this sounds good. Let's read this. Uh, Dramatis Personae. Uh, Malvasian, a high elf battle mage. Inzolaya, a dark elf battle mage. Dulcetus, a Cyrodiil healer. Uh, Shiabas, an Argonian barbarian. A ghost and some bandits. Scene, Eldenwood. As the curtain rises, we see the misty labyrinthian landscape of the legendary Elden Grove of Valenwood. All around, we hear wolves howling. A bloodied reptilian figure, Shiavas breaks through the branches of the one, of one of the trees and surveys the area. Shiavas, it's clear. Inzolaya, a beautiful dark elf mage, climbs down from the tree, helped by the barbarian. There is the sound of footsteps nearby. Shiavas readies his sword and Inzolaya prepares to cast a spell. Nothing comes out. Inzolaya, you're bleeding. You should have Dulcetus heal that for you. She of us. He's still drained for, from all the spells he had to cast down in the caves. I'm fine. If we get out of this and no one needs it more, I'll take the last potion of healing. Where's Malvasian? Malvasian, a high elf battle mage, and Dulcetus, a Cyrodiil healer, emerge from the tree, carrying a heavy chest between the two of them. They awkwardly try to get down from the tree, carrying their loot. Malvasian. Here I am, though why I'm carrying the heavy load is beyond me. I always thought that the advantage of dungeon delving with a great barbarian was that he carried all the loot. She of us. If I carried that, my hands would be too full to fight. And tell me if I'm wrong, but not one of the three of you has enough magicka reserve to make it out of here alive. Not after you electrified and blasted all of those homunculuses down below ground. <laughs> Dulcetus. Homunculi. Shiavas. Don't worry, I'm not going to do what you think I'm going to do. Inzalaya, innocently. 
What's that? She of us. Kill you all and take the ebony mail for myself. Admit it. You thought I had that in mind. Dulcetus. What a perfectly horrible thought. I never thought anyone, no matter how vile and degenerate, in Zolaya, why not? Malvasian. He needs porters, like he said. He can't carry the chest and fight off the inhabitants of, the El of Elden Grove both. Dulcetus, by Stendar, of all the mean, conniving, typically Argonian in Zolaya, and why do you need me alive? She of us, I don't necessarily, except that you're prettier than the other two, for a smooth skin, that is. And if something comes after us, it might go for you first. There is a noise in some bushes nearby. Shiavas, go check that out. In Zolaya. It's probably a wolf. These woods are filled with them. You check it out. She of us. You have a choice, Inzalaya. Go and you might live. Stay here and you definitely won't. Inzalaya considers and then goes to the bushes. She of us to Malvasian and Dulcetus. The king of Sylvanar will pay good money for the mail and we can divide it more nicely between three than four. Inzalaya, you're so right. Inzalaya suddenly levitates up to the top of the stage. A semi-transparent ghost appears from the bush and rushes at the next person, who happens to be Shiavas. As the barbarian screams and thrashes at it with his sword, it levels blasts of whirling gas at him. He crumbles to the ground. It turns next to Dosetus, the healer, and as the ghost focuses its feasting chill on the hapless Dosetus, Malvasian casts a ball of flame at it that causes it to vaporize into the misty air. Enzelaya floats back down to the ground as Malvasian examines the bodies of Dulcetus and Shiavas, who are both white-faced from the draining power of the ghost. Malvasian, you had some magicka reserved after all. Enzelaya, so did you. Are they dead? Malvasian takes the potion of healing from Dulcetus's pack. Malvasian, yes. Fortunately, the potion of healing wasn't broken when he fell. Well, I guess this leaves just the two of us to collect the reward. Inzolaya, we can't get out of this place without each other, like it or not. The two battle, battle mages pick up the chest and begin plodding carefully through the undergrowth, pausing from time to time at the sound of footsteps or other eerie noises. Malvasian, let me make sure I understand. You have a little bit of magicka left, so you elected to use it to make Shiavas the ghost's target forcing me to use most of my limited reserve to destroy the creature so I wouldn't be more powerful than you. That's first-rate thinking. Inzalaya, thank you. It's only logical. Do you have enough power to cast any other spells? Malvasian, naturally. An experienced battle mage always knows a few minor but highly effective spells for just such a trial. I take it you too have a few tricks up your sleeve. Inzalaya, of course, like you said. They pause for a moment before continuing, as a fearful wail pierces the air. When it dies away, they slowly trudge on. Inzalaya, just as an intellectual exercise, I wonder what spell you would cast at me if we made it out of here without any more combat. Malvasian, I hope you're not implying that I would dream of killing you so I would keep the treasure all to myself. Inzalaya, of course not, nor would I do that to you. It is merely an intellectual exercise. Malvasian. Well, in that case, purely as an intellectual exercise, I would probably cast a leech spell on you to take away your life force and heal myself. After all, there are brigands on the road between here and Sylvanar, and a wounded battle mage with a valuable artifact would make a tempting target. I'd hate to survive Elden Grove merely to die in the open. Inzalaya. That's a well-reasoned response. As for myself, again, not saying I would ever do this, but I think a simple, sudden electrical bolt would serve my purposes admirably. I agree about the danger of brigands, but don't forget we also have a potion of healing. I could easily slay you and heal myself to full capacity. Malvasian, very true. It would end up a question, then, of whose spell was more effective at that instant. If our spells counteracted one another and I leached your life energy only to be crippled by your lightning bolt, then we would, could both be killed or so near death that a mere potion of healing would scarcely help either one of us, let alone both. 
How ironic it would be if two scheming battle mages, not saying we are scheming, but for the purpose of this intellectual exercise, were left on the brink of death, completely drained of magicka, with one healing potion to choose from. Who would get it then? In Zelaya, logically whoever drank it first, which in this case would be you since you're holding it. Now, what if one of us were injured but not killed? Malvasian. Logic would dictate that a scheming battle mage would take the potion, leaving the injured party to the mercy of the elements, I suppose. In Zelaya, that does seem most sensible, but suppose that the battle mages, while certainly scheming types, had a certain respect for one another. Perhaps in that case, the victorious one might, for instance, put the potion up a tree near his or her gravely wounded victim. Then, when the wounded party had enough magicka replenished, he or she would be able to levitate to the tree branches and recover the potion. By that time, the victorious battle mage would have already collected the reward. They pause for a moment at the sound of something in the bushes nearby. Carefully, they climb across the branches of a tree to bypass it. Malvasian. I understand what you're saying, but it seems out of character for our hypothetic scheming battle mage to allow his or her victim to live. In Zelaya. Perhaps, but it's been my observation that most scheming battle mages enjoy the feeling of having bested someone in combat and having that person alive to live with the humiliation. Malvasian. These hypothetical scheming battle mages sound, excitedly, Daylight, do you see it? The two scurry across the branch, dropping behind a bush so we can no longer see them. We can, however, see the shimmering halo of sunlight. Malvasian, behind the tall bush, we made it. Enzolaya, likewise behind the tall bush, indeed. There is a sudden explosion of electrical energy and a wild, howling aura of red light, and then silence. After a mo few moments' pause, we hear someone climbing up the tree. It is Malvasian putting the potion high up in the bow. He chuckles as he climbs back down and the curtain drops. Epilogue The curtain rises on a road to Sylvanar. A gang of bandits have surrounded Malvasian, who is propped up on his staff, barely able to stand. They pull his chest away from him with ease. Bandit number one. What have we got here? Don't you know it ain't safe to be out on the road all sick like you are? Why don't we help you with your load? Malvasian, weakly, please, let me be. Bandit number two, go on, spellcaster, fight us for it. Malvasian, I can't, too weak. Suddenly, Enzelaya flies in, casting lightning bolts from her fingers at the bandits, who quickly scramble away. She lands on the ground and picks up the chest. Malvasian collapses, dying. Malvasian. Hypothetically, what if a battle mage cast a spell on another, which didn't harm him at once, but drained his life force and his magicka bit by bit so he wouldn't know at the time, but feel confident enough to leave the potion of healing behind? In Zelaya, a most treacherous battle mage she'd be. Malvasian, and hypothetically, would she be likely to help her fallen foe so that she could enjoy the humiliation of him continuing to live? In Zelaya, from my experience, hypothetically, no. She doesn't sound like a fool. As Enzelaya lugs the chest off towards Sylvanar and Malvasian expires on the stage, we drop the curtain. Uh, that was pretty good. I hope you enjoyed that. And the cool thing is that we uh, leveled up our destruction uh, by reading that, so that's kind of cool. All right, let us move on towards this cave and get away from these frickin' giants who I don't think are friendly. No, sir, I don't think they are. Hmm, I may have a little bit of trouble getting around here. See if we could find the entrance to this cave. Well, we've now discovered Broken Fang Cave. And, uh, we can level up. So let's go ahead and do that. We may need a little bit of this once we get in here. We have a perk to increase, and we could choose an attribute to advance. And I'm gonna do health. Because that may be. A longer distance between life and death for me. And then uh, I've been putting everything really into uh, two-handed. Um, been putting a lot into it. 
Uh, I'm consider I would I was going to consider heavy armor, but I'm not currently wearing heavy armor right now. Um, it has also been suggested that I put something into smithing. Um, but I'm just going to go, well, maybe I can't put anything in here. I got to get to 40 before I could put any more into Barbarian. So I don't think, let's see, Champion Stance. Don't I already have Champion Stance? Yeah, I already have Champion Stance. So then we've got Limb Splitter over here. Let me get over here. Limb Splitter. Okay. Attacks with Battle Axes cause extra bleeding damage. Doggone it. Um, I have been told... I've been given some, some advice on what weapons to use. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what weapon to use. So I don't know if I, need, if I want to put stuff into Battle Axes, you know? I'm not really sure what I'm going to specialize in. This is great swords, and this is war hammers. So I'm actually not going to put any points into that right now. Um, like I said, smithing has been suggested. Heavy armor has been suggested. Let's let's put some stuff into heavy armor. Even though I'm not wearing that right now. Increases armor rating for heavy armor by 20%. And I can't up this any further right now. Fists of steel. Unarmed attacks. Now, I don't plan on doing any unarmed attacks. Uh, over here, well fitted, 25% armor bonus if wearing all heavy armor. Okay, that requires 30. So I need a, need a place to put my other perk. Uh, smithing, I've been told to do smithing, but other people have told me to do some um, destruction or conjuration. I guess I need to decide which one of these I want to do uh, if I'm going to be a battle mage. The School of Destruction involves harnessing the energies of Fire, Frost, and Shock. This skill makes it easier to cast spells like Fireball, Ice, Spike, and Lightning Bolt. Whereas Conjuration uh, governs raising the dead and summoning creations from oblivion. This school, or skill, makes it easier to cast these spells as well as Soul Trap and Bindings. Oh my. Oh gosh, I don't know, man. Hmm. Um, you know, I don't know. I'm going to hold on to my perk point for right now. Let's move on. Okay, there's a flag there. Got to get my lavender here. Got to get my tundra cotton. Got a collection of bones here. That's There's a ominous. cave here. Think we should check it out? Fendal speaks. <laughs> I just get the, I'm just so tickled at how he poses there. Do I have anything to give to him, armor-wise? I don't think I do. Um, I don't. I mean, I've picked up a couple of rings, but I haven't. Unfortunately, I haven't picked up any armor on my travel over here, and I haven't really picked up any other weapon to give him. I mean, I guess I could give him this iron war hammer that I'm not using, but I don't know if it's better than I've what he's back. using. And besides, he's more of a bow guy. Um trade some what things. Do you want me to carry? He has he just has a bow and a dagger. Um I mean, I don't know whether he can even use this war hammer, but I'm going to give it to him anyway. Okay, so he now has it. And we'll see if he ever uses it. I don't know. You lead, I'll follow. Come on, Fendal, let's go. I've heard his name pronounced different ways. I've heard it pronounced Fendal, and I've heard it pronounced Feindal. So I don't really know what's the proper way to pronounce his name. We're going to take all of these green apples. We're going to take all of these carrots. And we're going to take all these salt piles. Okay. Alright, well, we're going in, man. We're going in. I hope I'm not in over my head here. But I'm ready for some adventure. Oh, look at this cave. So as a reminder, we've come here because a group of vampires has been causing trouble in Whiterun. I've been asked to clear out Broken Fang Cave. Yeesh. Vampires. Why did it have to be vampires? 
Don't like the looks of this. I don't either, Fendal. I don't like it at all. And I'm really happy that he's chatting with us. Oh, oh. Skeleton. Ooh, hey, look, Juniper. <laughs> um, so we've got maybe a skeleton coming this way. Sneak has been increased. Here it comes. Here it comes, dude. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, we took care of him quite easily. What is that thing in the lower right-hand corner down there? What is that? That white line. I don't know what that is. Search the skeleton. Take a shield and an ancient Nord war axe. So that skeleton did not waste any time rushing over here. See if there's some stuff we could take. An empty wine bottle? I don't want that. That's too bad I don't have a flashlight. Skull, wine bottle. Empty wine bottle. Bloody rags. Oh, here comes another one. I'm not too afraid of the skeletons. Look at that. Detect it again. Here comes another one. Look at their eyes. Nice. If I time it right, we're going to do just fine. Time my swings. Search this skeleton. He's also got a war axe. Oh, actually, you know what? I shouldn't just be picking this stuff rando. Like, uh, this, this, I shouldn't be picking these up. No. Weight 22, value 28. No, this is, this is not worth picking up. So I should, I should not be picking these up. I'll hang on to them for now. And if I become over encumbered, uh, they will be the first things I drop. So, bunch of wine bottles here, so I don't know if... Um, ancient Nord Battle Axe. I don't know if um, vampires like wine, or if their wine bottles filled with blood. I don't know. What was that? Oh, vampire. Oh, oh, been detected. Oh, here comes one right now. Here comes a vampire. Shoot at her, Fendal. Shoot at her. Oh, crap. Okay, that hurts. Oh, gosh, she's not dead yet. She's get oh, she's taking my health. She's taking health from me. Oh, holy hell. And you thought I was just a pretty face. No, I didn't, actually. Oh, my God, I died. Oh, that was so fast. Oh. Doggone it, man. Well, there's my first death. That's the first time I've died in the game. Man, I really didn't want to die. I really didn't. Doggone it. I'm kind of bummed out, man. I was really, really kind of proud that I hadn't died yet. Shoot. She's got some kind like of... the looks of this. Yeah. She's got some kind of bizarre... life-sucking... spell... He was easy. Here was another one. It's like, hey, what happened? That was cool. Okay. Now, where did she come from? Was she... Did she just come out of that doorway there? Um... Because I'd like to shoot her with my arrow. See if I could stay far enough away from her so that she doesn't... Use that spell on me, because that was nasty. Okay, this doesn't seem to go anywhere. Man. Oh, look, he's carrying that uh, war hammer, or whatever it was I gave to him. Well, hopefully he switches to bow and arrow at the right time. So, I mean, now that I know that she's going to appear, this kind of feels like cheating, but... Oh, well, what do you do about it? I mean, I think she came from this door here, right? I actually don't know. Okay, maybe that's where the leader is. There's a chest over here. Maybe getting ahead of myself. I don't want any of that crap. I don't want that crap. Do I hear walking? Here she comes. Damn, I didn't hit her. I'm going to 
Nice. Good job. So we, we switched places, Fendel and me. <laughs> Normally it's me in there mixing it up and him shooting arrows. Um, but uh, this time I stood back. Let's see if I can get into this thing. Ah, there goes one of my lock picks. I don't know how many of these I've got. This is this is an adept. Okay, I have 35 lock picks left. Damn it! I'm going through them pretty quick. Damn! Damn! These break easy. Okay. Holy hell, man! Damn it! Really? Okay. Well, son of a bitch. I don't know which way to go. A son of a gun. There better be some really good stuff in here, man. Whew. Uh, oh, well, a bunch of gold. Take all the gold, iron arrows. I'll take those and a lesser soul gem. Okay, so that was pretty good stuff, I feel like. It was pretty good. Pretty good. Where's her body? Is she anything good on her? Where'd she go? Where did her body go? Um. Gonna, vampire. Here we go. She's got some iron arrows I'll take. Oh, give me four lockpicks back. A steel sword? Not quite worth it. Vampire armor? Whoa. Okay, we'll be taking that. Vampire boots. Might as well complete the set. Vampire dust and weak poison. Well, I'm going to guess that she was not the vampire leader. Because our job here is not done. Alright, let's go. Look at me hitting F5. Is that a body there? Guess it is, huh? There's the lead vampire right there. Right? I'm supposed to kill the lead vampire, right? Detected. Master Vampire. Here we go. Oh. He's got it. Nice. Good job, team. Good job. Okay, well, there we go. <laughs> Simple as that. We return to Farkas. Doggone it, this... Ah, man, I wish I hadn't died. I could have done this without dying. Oh well, we died once. Search this bandit. Bandit's got fur shoes, no thank you. Gold, yes, please. Hide armor, that matches. 10 to 1. Hunting bow. Um, it's not 10 to 1. Uh, arrows and a dagger, no thank you. Okay. I always feel so bad leaving them naked. Let's see what this master vampire has on him. He's got just a small amount of gold. An iron sword that's not worth a whole lot. He also has vampire armor that's worth a lot. And uh, Vampire Dust. So we'll take his stuff. So what were you doing down here, dude? Hmm? Human heart? Well, I guess I'm going to take that. Just because it's weird. Hmm. Goblet. This is a, a 10 to 1. 10 to 1. Has no value of the jug. What's this guy been doing down here? It's disgusting, whatever it is. Might as well keep sneaking. Get my sneak skill up. Take the steel arrow. And I shot at him. Read a dance in fire, volume one. Uh, Arconian account. So, I mean, I can take these books. The problem is, though, I mean, I wish I could take it. I'm going to have to keep a note, because here's what's going to happen. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Um, well, Brief History of the Empire is one we've already read. A Dance in Fire, Volume 1, right? 
I take it, right, a dance and fire, but my inventory now says it thinks I read it, and I really didn't. All I did was pick it up, because I want to pick it up and read it later. You know, I, I already read a book this episode. I don't need to read another one. So um, I don't know how to keep track of these other than just have a note somewhere where I write these things down because this isn't helping me, this little eyeball thing here. I don't know of a way to pick up a book without reading it. And that's what I want to do. Um, yeah. Because, I mean, I, I don't really plan on coming back here, you know, but I want to take the books with me. So... It's too bad. Mortal Blood by Anonymous. Search the dresser. Barkeeper's shoes. Well, that's interesting. It's not not anything in it worth keeping, though. So yeah, man. Um, I mean, if you guys have suggestions on what to do about this. I think I know at least one of you has said that I'm pretty much just going to have to have a checklist. And I think that's what I'm going to have to do. The problem with the checklist is that, you know, like if I have a checklist in a different on a different window, then I have to like leave the game to update the other window. Um, but I mean, oh, sorry, I do have a um, pad of paper here right in front of me, so I'm just going to write these down. Um, a dance in fire, volume one. What other one did I pick up? Argonian account, book one. And the other one I picked up was um, Immortal Blood. So I have to keep track of books I picked up, but haven't read. And I don't know of any other way to do it. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's even more of them down here. Search this chest. Ooh, a circlet of minor archery. Whoa, that thing's worth a lot. I don't know what a circlet is. Is that something I wear? Gold, gold necklace. Novice robes of illusion. Look how much these things are worth. Holy cow. Illusion spells cost 12% less to cast. Magicka regenerates 50% faster. And steel shin boots. These are not worth taking. That was some good stuff. Let's see if there's anything in the end table. A fork and a tankard. No thanks. It's a pretty cool place he had down here. No gold. That's where he keeps his gold. Uh, we got a cup. That's 10 to 1. That's not... Bone meal. This is also 10 to 1. But bone meal is an ingredient, so it's probably worth taking. A Dance in Fire, Volume 1. That's one we just picked up on the other side of the room. Brief History of the Empire, Volume 2. That's like the fifth copy of that we've seen. Frost Salts. Those are worth something. Vampire Dust. Skull. A Dance in Fire again. Uh, Chance's Folly. Here's another one that I need to write down. That uh, I'm just going to take and not read right now. Chances Folly. And Darkest Darkness, another one that I haven't read. These sound like cool books, though. Darkest Darkness. Okay, we'll take that one as well. Okay. Alright, let's move over here. Here's a Black Soul Gem. Here's a Common Soul Gem. Here is a petty soul gem. Take Orcus, Orcish Sword of Soul Snares. Okay. And we have an arcane enchanter here. Uh, here is another book. Uh, this one's going to teach us something, though. Uh, Mystery of Talera, Volume 4. So this increases our illusion. So Arcane Enchanter is what we use to um, no, this, is, this is Disenchant. This is Item, Enchantment, and Soul Gem. 
So I could pick an item. Hmm. Like I could enchant my helmet, maybe, if I wanted to. I'm not going to, but if I wanted to, I could pick the helmet. I could pick Fortify Illusion on it. And then I could use a soul gem? I need a, I need a soul gem. Okay, so that's how I would do it. I'm not going to do that, because I don't want to enchant that dumb helmet. That's interesting. We got a cage here with some bloody rags in it. So it's a pretty small place he was in down here. It's not that big, and if we we can confirm that by looking at the map, it's pretty much all there is to this place. But uh, our job is done, and uh, we can report back to, uh, I guess, report back to the companions in White Run, and uh, let them know our work here is done. Gosh, I, I totally missed this table over here. Um, frostbite venom, yeah, that's worth a lot. Salt pile, sure. The dagger, nah. Uh, leather strips, nah. Embalming tool. Hmm, I haven't seen that before. Is that something I need? I don't know. We'll take these potions. More salt pile. The wolf queen. Oh, look at the value of this book. Damn. The wolf queen. Volume one. Take this one, and lock picking has increased. Okay, that's cool. We can search this end table, and inside of it is a wooden plate, which isn't worth crap. Um, and then here is an alchemy lab that we could use if we really wanted to, but I don't think I want to right now. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll uh, we'll be on our way here, huh, Fendal? We did a pretty good job, except for the time when I died. Let, let, let us not speak of that any longer. Oh, this platter is even worth 10 to 1. Look at that. I'll take these platters. Plate isn't, not, isn't though. Okay. Hm. Well, uh, this was a pretty cool place here. Now we need to go back. <laughs> we need to find our way back past all these giants. And uh, I'm just going to take a quick look around here. Just to see, I mean, just make sure none of these are like secret doors or anything. Make sure there's no treasures hiding anywhere that I hadn't looked before. Uh, we've got an open uh, casket here. Up here we've got bloody rags. <laughs> okay, apparently I hurt myself. Maybe I stepped on that? I don't know. But I heard myself. Interesting. Nothing here. Okay, I think we're free to go. Alright, let's get out of here, man. Back outside. Maybe it'll be daylight now. That would be nice. Well, it's looking kind of... No, it's looking like a nighttime still. So if we uh, look at that quest now, Trouble in Skyrim, we need to return to Farkas, so that's what we're going to do. And yes, I know I could fast travel there, but we're not going to fast travel for quite a while. Because uh, fast traveling feels like cheating when you're, when you're uh, role-playing. Plus, you know, there's still so much more for me to explore and experience in, in uh, Skyrim that I don't want to just go skipping past it. You understand. I'm sure you do. There's movement over there, but that's okay. Got these cairns piled up here, maybe as markers to this, uh... This cave. There's all kinds of these beasts out here. If you look at the map. Um, interestingly enough, I'm still showing the local map. I was wondering if there was, like, a road I could take back. Wondering if the road would be safer to take. This is kind of looking like a road. Let's take this road. See how this goes. There's still giants over there. I don't know if you can see them walking around, but there's one right over top of my cursor there. Probably just found out that we stole his um, treasure. There's a couple of dudes, three dudes walking on the road here. Don't know whether they're going to be friendly or not. We're going to find out real quick, though. More of these butterfly things. Oh, 
tried to catch Feindal. Only a matter of time for what? Did you hear that? Let's see who these guys are. These are um, Imperial soldiers. What's up, guys? The Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. If you think you've got what it takes, our headquarters is in solitude. Oh, yeah? Stay alert. Never know when those Stormcloak dogs might charge. Those Stormcloak dogs. Where'd your buddy go? Oh, that guy's walking up there for some reason. Let me walk over to him just to make sure he's not somebody special. Can't wait to kill another Volfrix, boys. Okay, that's really not a very good attitude to have, dude. Um. Hmm. Just now noticing something. I don't think my field of view is set the way I want it. It's not. Holy cow, that makes it look ridiculous. Let's do 90. Huh. Yeah, some, at some point I guess it got reset and I didn't notice it, huh? Oh crap, all this time. Oh well, whatever. It's okay. Catching butterflies, man. And I'm gonna turn them into potions. That's how I roll. White run is in this direction. Here's some more rocks piled up here in some kind of display or something. Not sure what this is or was. But I don't see anything here. What do you think, Fendal? I don't know, man. Get back on the road. Oh, jeez, hi. Hold on, hold on while I get my weapon out. What do you got on you? Wolf pelt? Well, that's ten to one. Boy, that wolf came out of nowhere. It's all good. We can handle ourselves. Another road marker here. More butterflies. Sorry, butterflies, but you belong to me now. Make yourself useful, Fendal. Catch some butterflies. Well, I kind of liking walking around during the daytime. It's not as scary. Plus, I'm on the road. that noise? Is that just the music or? I don't know. There's like um, a tower up there that I didn't notice when we were over there before. Hmm. Oh well. We're doing this job for the companions. Kind of prove ourselves. Uh, I think we're going to earn some coin for doing it. There's a fox. Another butterfly over there. Look, there's some blood all over this and a s skeleton. Golly, what the heck happened here? So if I look at the map, look at local map, I guess the local map does show a bit of a road, huh? Nice day for a walk. Somebody's built a fence here. Not sure why. I think we look pretty cool. I think we look rather formidable. I wouldn't want to mess with this guy. A couple people walk in here. Look at that other guy up there. I thought he was going to jump off. Hello, how are you, farmer? It happened so fast. What happened? Oh, One minute the dragon was there, the next it was gone. Everything was destroyed. What happened to your face? Oh, why are you running? Don't run from me. Hey, what's up, farmer? There are dragons about, traveler. Be warned. Thank you. 
I know. I was at Helgen. Then you've seen them too. Yep. We lost our home, our livestock. We barely have enough gold to get by. Hmm. Fine. Here, have some gold. Oh, thank you, traveler. Be safe, and don't forget to keep an eye on the sky. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a nice guy. Hello. Thank you for your kindness. You're welcome. Thank you for your kindness. You're welcome again. I've got gold. Comes with the territory. What have we here? These are those uh, wolves that we saw on our walk over. We originally started our walk on this trail, on this road. It's a beast in the road here, and might even be a person standing over there. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I wonder if this is that red guard that was kind of a jerk that we saw earlier. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. An Argonian. Jeez, he's gonna be hard to hit. Okay, hold on, 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 hold on. I need to take some health. Healing. Boy, that when they say minor healing, they ain't kidding. And I'm gonna take a potion of resist fire, because I believe he's casting fire at me. Alright, we need to get in close with this guy. Son of a gun. Holy hell. Oh, holy hell. Oh my gosh. He is going to freaking kill me. That was my last potion of healing. Potion of the defender blocking. No. True shot. Water breathing. Um, golly, man. I ain't got nothing. I mean, I already took a resist fire. Ooh, what the hell is with this guy coming out of nowhere? I don't know what to do. Uh, can I eat some food and get health that way? I'm just gonna eat a bunch of food, man. I'm gonna empty my pack. I'm gonna eat my 20-some carrots. Um, pheasant roast. Honey nut treat. Cheese wedge. Green apples. I'm just eating everything I got. I can't even hit this guy. I'm just gonna run away, or try to anyway. Son of a bitch. Oh my god. Oh my god, quit it. You son of a bitch. Sack of flour, salmon meat. I'm not gonna make it. I don't know what to do. Is my potion still working? My resist fire potion? 60 seconds. Yield, and I may still show mercy. Son of a bitch. Run, dude, Cut. run. I'm out of stamina, son of a... Gosh, damn it. Fine, I yield, I yield, I yield, I yield. Oh. I don't know how to yield. What the hell was that? Time for you to die. Uh, man. Argonian, what the hell? Well, I'm all the way back here from when we very first exited the freaking cave. All those butterflies I collected. Daggone it, man. That sucks. What the hell? What was I supposed to do with that guy? He was so fast I couldn't hit him. Damn. Man. Well, I've died twice now. Jeez. What is this? Who are these people? These people weren't here before. Who are you? Move along. What are you doing? Why didn't I see these guys before? Taking this man to be interrogated. Oh. What has he done? He has knowledge of a cult of Talos. He will tell us what we need to know, or he will die. The choice is his. Now, get out of my way. Okay, I guess I will. Look at these people. Move along. This doesn't concern you, citizen. Um, where are you taking your prisoner? That is none of your concern. Oh, this there's... doesn't concern you, citizen. Uh, what right do you have to drag people away? By imperial law banning Talos, we have the right to do whatever we want. Walk away. Now. And now you'll walk away if you know what's good for you. I don't know, I've already died twice in this episode, why not? Whoa, 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 whoa,
Oh, that's fine. Oh gosh, hit him. I didn't do much damage to him at all. I killed one of them. Look, I'm getting right in his face. Where'd she go? Did I get him? Did I get him? Did I get him? Yeah. All right. Don't mess with me and Fendal this time. <laughs> uh, wine? Sure. Amethyst? Yes, please. Elven armor? Okay, that's worth a lot. Boots? Sure. Gauntlets? Sure. Gold? Hell yeah. Steel sword? No thanks. What do you got on you? Uh, you got some of that expensive armor as well. Where did the other one go? Did you take him out, uh, Fendal? Because there was three of them. Where did he go? And where did the prisoner go? Where did the other guy go? Hmm. Boy, these two are pretty easy to see with their nakedness. What the hell, man? I guess it's just like some kind of random encounter that got spawned that time, but not last time I was over here, huh? Alright. Uh, I really do want to know where that guy went and where the prisoner went. Did they just walk on and just leave these guys? But here he is. Good job, Feindal. He took him out. Look at that. Took an arrow to the ear. Uh, hooded Thalmor robes. Those are worth a lot. Steel arrow, steel dagger. Yeah. Boots. I'll take those. Gloves. Hell yeah. Screw you, stupid Thalmor jerks. I wanted to see if I could find the uh, prisoner. I don't know where he went. Somebody's walking there, though. I don't. That's not the prisoner. I don't know who that is. Gosh, I'm afraid to run into people now. I don't know where the prisoner went. Golly, man. Here I was thinking that the road would be a safer way to go back. Hell, I'd. Better luck against the Giants. <laughs> Jeez. Man. Well, I don't know where the prisoner ran off to. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing he lived and ran away. Um, but, uh, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to check on him, make sure he was alright. But yeah, he just bolted, I guess. I never saw which way he went. I mean, his body could be lying over here, right? Uh, they, the Thalmor dudes could have killed him right when this battle started, but um, I'm going to say probably not. That's some murky looking water right there. Huh. Or maybe he ran back in the direction they were coming from, right? Because that's where he would have been coming from. That might be him running. Somebody's running way over there. Look at that. I want to know if that's him. This may be a mistake. But I'm just curious. I just want to know. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that that stupid Argon? Oh, damn you, wolf. Oh, can't you see I'm busy? Or scared or whatever the hell you are? Damn it. Oh, go away. <laughs> Is this that damn Argonian? Apprentice Conjurer? Oh, he was fighting bandits. No, no, he's the good guy. No, no, who are you? Are you a bandit? Bandits die. Bandits must die. Okay. Well, crap, now he's casting at us. Alright, whatever. I'll just, I'm just, whatever happened to the kinder, gentler adventurer of the last episode? <laughs> Now I'm all battle-hardened and paranoid because everybody's shooting at me. Uh, these aren't worth crap, man. The robes are worth something. Imp stool? Well, that's an ingredient, so we'll take it. I'm not going to take that dagger. Well, I don't know, man. Fur armor? Nah. Gold? Sure. Boots? Sure. Bracers? Sure. Bow? No thanks. Arrows? Yes. Dagger? No. Lockpick, yes, please. 
So there were quite a few guys in this battle here when I first looked up. Uh, I don't know where the other bodies went. Um, I mean, you'd think they'd be scattered around here somewhere. Um, but, uh, I mean, at least I thought I saw other bodies here. But, uh, heck, if I know where they went. Golly, man, this is a dangerous, dangerous place. Sheesh. Freaking dangerous, right, Fendal? Damn. Wow. Well. Man. I wanted to run over and see if that guy I saw was the prisoner, but so much for that idea. Hello, Fox. And I don't even know where the road is. It's over here somewhere, I guess. Yeah, here's the road. Oh, or is it? Um, here we are back where we got that treasure before. So I am... I am way off track here. Because the road is actually... I believe in this direction. Oh, crap. Who's this? Bounty collector? What? What's going on? Whoa, what are you doing? What? Oh, that was a nice move, dude. What's going on? Bounty collector. So, oh man, this guy's rich. Iron mace of sapping. Steel armor. That's not quite ten to one. Steel cuffed boots. Steel dagger. Okay. Bounty collector. I mean, he came running up on me like he knew who I was. And I was like, oh, if you kill an innocent, does a bounty hunter appear out of nowhere to attack you? Or did he think I was somebody else or what? I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> it sure is exciting, though. Well, uh, Fendel and I are going to hang out here at this place uh, and this episode here. We come back next time. We'll see if we can't make our way back to White Run without dying a couple more times. Craziness, man. Well, thanks for joining me on this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, won't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe. Click the bell so you're notified whenever I post a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Come here, you. Come here, you. Sure, if you join me again. Come here. In the next episode.